Hey, hey, Grub Gun here. I'm back. And uh, today on the uh, channel, as it were, I'm going to talk about all of my top habits that have got me to be the uh, unsuccessful quasi failure that I am today. Um, I mean, you know, I was never trained to uh, succeed. Let's just put it that way. I, uh, m the opportunities in my life uh, were never handed to me on a fucking silver platter. And uh, I didn't fucking search out success because, uh, you know, uh, that just really didn't seem like something that uh, was important um, to anyone around me. So, you know, I didn't get given any examples to succeed. So I just proceeded to fail at pretty well everything forever uh, you know I, I any kind of success that I had was all due to fucking extreme compensation and setting my bars so low that uh, fucking even you know d anything you know finding 50 cents on the ground was like you know I'm a winner but the, um, okay, it starts out with laziness. This is my first habit that, uh, really has got me nowhere because all of the things that I want to do, I don't do out of laziness. And the, the laziness probably stems from fear in a way, fear of, of failure. So... You see, why you can't fail if you don't try, right? So, I would just be lazy, you know? Everything I could do today, well, I could surely probably do it tomorrow or the next day. And then it just procrastinates right down to the fact that nothing ever gets done. And, you know, with, when you have that fear of failure, you're like, if I don't try, I can't fail, so... And the, the thing is, is even slight challenges, even today, you know, whether it be like, I don't know, I can't figure out how to run the lens on my camera, so I just use automatic settings. I don't bother trying to learn because nobody's teaching me shit. Like, I don't have any guidance. There's nobody around me who gives a fuck. So, I mean, like, I'm going to have to take a photography course in order to learn this stuff. Now, I want to do that because I want to be better but learning it myself is just like, oh, I know it would be free, but like, I just don't have the fucking time. I do, but I just, you know, I'd rather sit in front of my computer and scroll through fucking Facebook. Laziness it got me nowhere, n will never get me anywhere. I mean, the only thing that, like, I, it's only recently that I've been proactive in fucking making this guy fucking priority one and fucking needing to save money to move and shit like that and be proactive i mean like i haven't i'm not a failure at saving money i've done that so there's that so but that's where you know that's another failure of mine is the fucking greed greed i want you know it's it it falls under the category of fucking like lust i want that you know i want fucking either items because they make me feel better because you know retail therapy or you know i want fucking you know i've set a goal for myself like and now money is the thing i collect and it's all out of greed i look at it and i'm like i love money money's great bad fucking trait to have because I mean add that on to the laziness even though that doesn't apply with my work because I do I don't miss any work like you know unless there's a coronavirus or I need a fucking operation I don't really miss work so I do go to work I have a I have a work ethic I guess you know I worked 18 years and fucking as a fucking irrigation guy and I barely missed a day but I mean like I, I want stuff 
And you know, the problem is, is early on in my life, my laziness stopped me from getting stuff. So I was mad about that. So there's just all these little fucking things that keep pushing me back and keeping me at a certain level of fucking success, which is not that great. Like I said, I see people around me and they're fucking living the dream. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, seriously, like, I guess when you have absolutely shit parenting and uh, fucking you don't go to fucking high school, you drop out of fucking high school and you're let loose on the world and all you do is fuck around, you know, being drunk and on drugs and fucking <laughs> failing in general at fucking life, you know, you don't really, uh, success doesn't come to me, you know what I mean? I never bothered, like, doing anything. To, I never thought I would succeed. And I still don't feel that I'll succeed. This is the thing. It's it's that, f not fear of failure. It's almost like the, the that's what I'm destined to have is the status quo of just being mediocre forever. And I mean, you know, granted, you kind of, like, create your own reality, but, like, you know, I'm sure I could do whatever I wanted, but, you know, the laziness and the fucking fear of failure holding me back is bullshit, you know what I mean? You know, I can do things, I can do certain things, but none of them are... None of them are gonna make me any fucking skrilla, you know what I mean? Um, and of course, you know, that, that leads to the fucking self-pity, right? Where you're like, well, I suck, you know, fucking, why me? Why, why am I the one that fucking gets the short end of the stick all the time? It's like, that's not fair. I, you know, why don't people, uh, you know, not even, why don't people, why, am I not likable? And I'm like, well, you know, really when you're, you know, emotionally fucking distant from everybody for fucking ever, yeah, you're probably not likable. So, hmm. There's that. My, also, my problem. And all just compounds to the ever-growing pyramid of failure that I exist in 24 hours a fucking day. And, uh, you know, there's, of course, you know, the thing that got, has got me into a lot of fucking trouble. The good old-fashioned good old fashioned lust. You know, and not just lust for items. You know, it's like, oh, Jeremy, look, you're, 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 the only way to prove that you're a real man is to, to bang a bunch of fucking chicks all the time. Yeah, that's right. Leaving a trail of fucking misery behind you and existing in a fucking whirlpool of misery as it's happening. You know, when, when you think of success as, you know, like, breaking up a marriage just out of fucking just to see if you can do it you know these are not skills that are transferable to success in the real world so it's kind of like you just look back and it's like fuck gee jeremy you really what a what a success story you've you've lived you've bro broken up several relationships and slept with people out of spite well that's really that's quality. That's just, that's so giving of you. So, the and the lust has got me into trouble so many different times. I mean, like, right up to fucking to the point where, you know, the old midlife crisis scenario, which only happened in a private forum, by the way. It didn't happen in public, which was good, because you know, now I'd be sitting here fucking embarrassed. But I don't have to be, because only like five or six people know about it, so... At least I succeeded there in keeping that a fucking secret, so. Coffee. Um, but this, of course, this one leads to the, the one that fucks me up the worst. Like, always, always. It's uh, envy and jealousy and anger at fucking other people's good fortune. When I see people fucking succeeding and not having to try or seemingly not having to try or get given the fucking, you know, silver spoon scenario, it 
fucking drives me crazy. It kills me. I see I I see people enjoying themselves. I see people fucking getting shit and having shit and it fucking makes me mad. And it the envy and jealousy part kills me and it's so hard to shake. There are some people I'm I'm happy when they're happy. You know, it's it's odd because like I don't feel it for certain people. But other people I'm just like why in the fuck is this person fucking have all this fucking luck? And I got shit. You know, I'm like, this person doesn't fucking deserve it. And I'll actually, to the point where if somebody has misfortune, I will fucking enjoy it. And I mean, I'll tell you, that will get you nowhere in this world. And it holds you back worse than anything. So, I mean, I tell you, if there's anything that I could shake... It would be that. I wish I could be f fucking happy for other people's success because it would make me fucking want to succeed instead of me being like, well, fine then, fuck it, you know? If, if somebody's just going to fucking get something handed to them, I'm not even going to fucking try because, you know, I've tried my whole life and uh, never got anywhere, so. So this is the thing, like, you know? Maybe I'm just, I'm, I'm, this isn't whining. These are just facts. And uh, it's all content, am I right? But this is the thing, like, you know, you know, maybe I'm just a fucking shit person and this is my fucking lot in life. But, you know, I'm working towards being a better person. But, you know, it's these old habits, they just die hard. You know, I'll still be mad if I see somebody fucking getting something. You know, it's like somebody will win the lottery and they're fucking... You know, they already own their own house and shit. I was like, go fuck yourself. Seriously. Win the lottery? Like, what the fuck do you need fucking $28 million for? I gotta bust my fucking ass for fucking $1,000 paychecks. I gotta bust my... I gotta fucking hernia working so that I can earn money to get the fuck out of this town. And here's people fucking getting shit handed to them on a fucking silver platter. They can all get fucked. Like, seriously. Like, uh... Some people are like, oh, a million dollars, oh, it's, you, you'll never be able to su survive on that. I would live the rest of my life off that million dollars. If someone gave me 20 grand, I would be gone in a fucking heartbeat. But no. No, I gotta work. Work at fucking 49 years old and bust my fucking ass just to fucking achieve this much of a dream. And the thing is, is, you know, I'd feel bad if I did get fucking help. But if I, like I said, if I won the fucking lottery, you wouldn't fucking see me again. This channel would be dormant for like a year before I put up a fucking video. Because I'd be living my life and enjoying myself. Which, you know, has to be put on hold because you gotta work, right? You gotta be that schlub that fucking sucks fucking dick for fucking company somewhere so that you can barely survive anyway these are the uh, success stories and habits of a uh, 49 year old failure so uh, this has been grub gun uh, thanks for watching and uh, more shit soon <laughs>